Headset as well as that's paired with the end flight mic. Um, right now, just in the airplane, sounds beautiful to me. Um, I tested it right on the ground. The noise canceling difference was amazing. Uh, the difference uh, when I'm speaking with the noise canceling on and when I'm speaking with the noise canceling off makes the entire bit of difference. Uh, the microphone, by the way, does work when the noise canceling is off. Um, we're going to try a few different maneuvers here today as well. Uh, we're probably going to do some slow flight. Um, and then we'll try to do a climb with it as well, just to see how the audio changes with airspeed and RPMs. Um, and then I'm going to give the headset to Wilder, and he's going to try it out too. So you'll have two different reviews of the headset. And, uh, well, let's get started. Just turn off to the north a little bit. And we are a bit low, I guess, for a slow flight. Yeah, and we are a bit low for slow flight, so we can start off with the climb, I guess. All right. So we can start this climbing turn now, so we'll just add full throttle here. And we'll start a climb. Uh, just testing it right now, I'll continue speaking throughout the climb. It there really does not change any difference. Uh, it's uh, crisp, clear. Uh, the throttle advancement does not change the characteristics of the headset whatsoever. Um, Oh, we're just climbing up to 2,200 right now. Uh, once we get to 3,500, uh, we'll start doing our slow flight maneuvers. All right, so now we're reaching up to 3,500 here. And uh, we're going to bring the throttle all the way back. So this is from full throttle now down to uh, fairly, just pretty much idle. All the way back. All right, now we're going to enter slow flight. I mean... It's, you probably could hear a little bit of the RPM changes, but right now we're in slow flight. Uh, throttle is, is brought all the way back. And we're just, uh, we're descending now. Throttle neutral. We're actually, uh, we'll bring it up into slow flight. One of the tests that I like to do is actually to hear, if I can hear the stall horn going off. And I can hear the stall horn going off. That's an awesome characteristic of this headset. Some noise canceling headsets, uh, their noise canceling characteristics will actually cancel out the stall horn. Um, this one, you can hear the stall horn. So that's a good characteristic, especially for CFIs that are looking to get into this headset with their students and want a noise canceling headset. Good characteristic. Uh, I love it. I love this headset for that reason. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause here for a second. In this next clip, I want you to listen to the difference between my microphone and uh, Wilder's microphone. Uh, in Wilder's microphone, you will hear the uh, engine, and then in mine, you will not. So this shows the difference between noise canceling and passive noise canceling. Do I sound to you? What? Oh, no, fine. yeah, you sound fine. No, it sounds great. Uh, through climb, when you've got that higher RPM and the airplane's a lot louder, I can still hear hear you just fine. Um, yeah, and then I actually have my headset volume turned down a little bit, so I definitely have room to play. That's great. It's a manageable sound. So uh, this thing is, there's a lot of knobs that you can turn to make the sound how you want. So we'll just, uh, we're just been flying around here in a little bit, a few circles here. So uh, right now we're going to level off, and we're actually going to change headsets quick, and uh, we'll... Uh, See you in a bit. All right, guys. So Wilder is just going to fly around just for a little bit. He's going to try out the headset, uh, see how he likes it first, and then uh, we'll come back to you. Come back to you, and uh, tell, he'll tell you how he likes it. So uh, this headset's really nice. I've never really used an A&R headset before, uh, but I can tell it's already a lot quieter and it's a lot nicer than uh, my David Clark. But um, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, I might try and get into uh, some slow flight here if that's all right with you. Just to um, see what well, you were talking about the stall horn, because that's something I've been worried about. And another thing that I've been worried about is just hearing the engine. 
uh, stumble or like if I need to put carb heat in, if I've got carb, carb ice or something like that. Um, that's always been kind of my thing I've been worried about with an Android headset. So far, it seems all right. So both of us have had the same instructor, so uh, we, we're we taught to listen to the engine quite a bit. So uh, having that ability to hear the engine as well as the stall horn, we're very, um, we're very pilots based on listening and visual cues. cues. Yeah, there's that stall horn. And let's not get into a spin here. But yeah, so I mean, I can hear that stall horn just fine. Um, and so far I've been he able to hear the engine just fine. But straight pulling the throttle back, I can definitely hear the RPM drop. There's a very good difference. So I can hear that engine very nicely. For people that are sitting in airplanes for like hours on end, it's not like one of those sounds where it's gonna just you know, take a toll on you. This is, that's, it's a sound just enough to hear the RPM, but not enough to make it seem like it's going to take a toll on you all day long, listening to it. Exactly. And one other thing, speaking of being all day long, that seems really nice about this headset is it feels a lot lighter. There's a lot less of a clamping force on my head. So it definitely feels initially a lot more comfortable than my David Clark headset, especially as someone who wears glasses. And as someone who likes to uh, wear sunglasses at the same time, and these are some pretty large sunglasses, and I put them on, and it breaks that seal, and honestly, I don't hear a lot of noise change as far as seal being broken in this by these glasses. Oh, that's great. No, thank you very much, Wilder, for your input on that headset. I wanted to get a second person's input on that headset, and I did. So if you guys have liked the review of this headset, um, please hit that thumbs button on the YouTube video. Uh, also, head on over to End Flight Mike's. Uh, website. I'll put a link in the in the description and go and buy their end flight mic. Uh, great product, great people, good company. Highly recommend. And uh, I hope you guys have good days and stay stay safe. Um, and so far, I've been he able to hear the engine just fine. Uh, I might pull the carb heat just really quick if that's all right with you. There's no carb heat on There's this no airplane. No carb heat. Oh, it's in a fuel injected airplane, so we don't have any carb heat. So <laughs> we'll edit that part out. Thanks.